Are you tired of investing time and money into online courses only to forget everything you learnt in just a few weeks? Or maybe you've obtained an AWS certification but not too sure what to do next. If you're feeling stuck on your cloud learning journey and want a step-by-step -step plan to maximise your chances of landing a job, then this video is for you. The reason most people find it hard to learn a new technology or finish an online course is because they don't set a proper plan. And I say this because I've made the same mistake too many times. It's so easy to buy a $10 course and say to yourself, I'm too busy this week, but it's okay, I'll just come back to it later. Later turns into never and before you know it, a few months go by. This year, I'd encourage all of you to break the cycle and remember one phrase, learn by doing. The secret to learning cloud computing in order to actually land a job lies in this five-step plan. Step number one, get cloud certified. Step number two, build hands-on experience. Step number three, tailor your resume. Step number four, prepare for interviews. And step number five, network and showcase your skills. Many people I talk to get stuck on step one and they spent countless hours studying for certifications. Even though obtaining a certification can be a great addition to your resume, it's important to remember that's only one piece of the puzzle. Research shows that 20 hours is the magic number to become good at something. But if you spend all that time studying for certifications, you just become really good at answering multiple choice questions. If your goal is to become one of these roles, simply knowing the theory or being able to pass a certification exam is often not enough. To really stand out, you need to gain some hands-on experience with building and deploying applications in the cloud. For example, a solutions architect needs to build demos to show customers cloud solutions. With a certification, you'll be able to figure out what to build, but not really how to build it. Which brings us to step number two, build hands-on experience. There are many ways to do this. You could get an internship, build a cloud project, or even play around with cloud services. But sometimes to even land an internship in the first place, employers want to see some sort of experience. So my recommendation would be to start by playing around with cloud services and then build two to three cloud projects. Projects serve two main purposes. First, they can be added to your resume to show potential employers that you have hands-on cloud skills. And second, they can be used as examples during interviews, allowing you to discuss your experiences with building the projects and any challenges you might have faced. If you're not too sure which projects to build, I have a video on my channel explaining the top three cloud projects for beginners. Another project I'd recommend looking into is the Cloud Resume Challenge. It's pretty much a project that walks you through how to host your own resume on the cloud. And you can choose either AWS, Azure or GCP. The project combines a few cloud services and helps you build skills that real cloud engineers use in their daily work. Speaking of resumes, it's important to tailor your resume based on the role you apply for. One way to do this is by creating your resume using an AI resume builder. An AI resume builder is pretty much a tool that uses artificial intelligence to create you a high quality resume. It can automatically fill in your details, helps you check for grammatical errors, and provides suggestions on how to make your resume better. I wish I knew about AI resume templates back when I was applying for jobs because it would have saved me so much time trying to manually tailor my resume. All right, let me show you a quick demo of how it works. So I'm using Resi, an AI resume builder platform with over 300,000 users. Once I sign up, I can select resume, choose to create it from scratch, and select the job tailored resume option. Here you can see that I can actually add in the entire job description of the role I'm applying for. Let's say I want to tailor my resume to this Associate Solutions Arctic role at AWS. I can pop in the job details and copy and paste the entire job description. And then I'm asked to select the industry and experience of the role. In this case, it's an associate level role. Now I need to spend some time filling in some details about my experiences, projects, certifications, and other relevant sections. All right, so I've just filled in all my details and straight away you can see that the resume is ready to download. They also have a bullet points feature to help you rewrite specific dot points you have in your resume. And if you want to write a cover letter, Resi can help with that as well. This video is sponsored by Resi, so I'll leave a link down below to the AI Resume Builder platform. And if you'd like to go with one of their paid plans, you can use the code TECHWITHLUCY for 20% off. All right, so once you create a tailored resume and start applying to jobs, the next step is to prepare for interviews. Here are the five areas I'd recommend focusing your preparation on. The first one is making sure you review the job description and requirements. Make sure you have a good understanding of the specific responsibilities and requirements of the role. Is it a client-facing role or more product-based? Second area of preparation is on the company you apply for. What are their main products and services? What is their company culture like? For example, Amazon has 16 leadership principles that are used as a foundation for their culture. 
These include customer obsession, earn trust, and think big. So in the hiring process, candidates will be assessed on how well they align with those principles. Third one is to compile a list of the technical and non-technical questions you might be asked. You can find this pretty easily through websites like Glassdoor where thousands of candidates share the interview experience. Next step is to practice the questions you've compiled as well as common interview questions like tell me a bit about yourself. Remember that interviewing is a skill in itself. Your ability to interact and engage with an interviewer can be just as important as all the qualifications you have on your resume. Instead of practicing alone in front of a mirror, consider doing a mock interview where you get a friend or family member to ask you interview questions and provide you with feedback. And the final step is to prepare a document of your projects and previous career experiences. In this document, you can write down specific examples and include any metrics and data points. If you're looking for technical interview questions, I'd also recommend checking out this video I made where I talk about common solutions architect interview questions. I've interviewed a few candidates during my time at AWS and one of the most common mistakes I see is a lack of preparation. So make sure before interviews you cover all five areas I just mentioned. Now the most important step to this five step plan is actually the last one which is to network and showcase your skills. When you build something cool, share it on LinkedIn. If you want to talk to others also interested in cloud, join an online community. The Tech with Lucy cloud community on Slack is a great one to join by the way. The main point of this is to build a personal brand which can lead to more career opportunities. So if you're just starting out, I'd recommend writing technical articles or blog posts about your projects and then publishing them on platforms like Medium or LinkedIn. This will give you a place to showcase your skills and help attract potential employers. All right, so those are the five steps I'd recommend following to land a cloud role. I've included a whole bunch of other resources in the description below, so make sure you check that out. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope everyone has an amazing year ahead and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.